Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and this is the latest installment of my 300 Spartan Armor uh, tutorials. They, these are this is how to do the Spartan Greaves, the leg guards that go on the leg, and I have one. I have one here completed. That you take a look at, see. And uh, it's a fun project, but it takes takes a bit of time. It's going to take you probably maybe four hours to make these greaves, and that doesn't include drying time. So um, I do it with cardboard and paper mache. And uh, you can do it just with cardboard if you want, it won't be as durable, but it um, comes out pretty good. So let me go over the materials, what you're going to need to, to do this project. You're going to need uh, several boxes of, of cereal, probably four or five. And you're going to need, uh, you can also use two sheets of poster board to do this project, which makes it easier. You're going to need flour and water and a mixing bowl, a two liter bottle of uh, beverage soda or something like that, just, just as like a form to go inside when you're making it. Uh, some various paints, I used gold and black paint, gold spray paint and black brush on paint. Um, scissors, masking tape, uh, some kind of a glue, either a white glue or a hot glue gun, and the hot glue gun actually works the best. If you have a hot glue gun, use that for this project, it'll make it go a lot faster. And some wire. And what the wire is, is the edging around the the leg guard here. You're also going to need a few pieces of string so you can tie these onto your leg. So I have um, the templates to make this. Uh, you don't have to do any much calculating with that. I have those on my website. You can download those and print them up and then you can cut them out and apply them to the cardboard and, and make this project. So, And the two different ones. There's a left and a right so you have to be careful of that. So uh, let's get started. Print up the template on, the, on my website, and then uh, tape the three pages of the template together on, the, on paper, and then transfer that over to cardboard. Now you can either use pieces of um, cereal box cardboard, right, or you can use a single piece of poster board, which I like, and that'll give you actually both both um, both of the greaves. And uh, make sure that you do one one way and one the other way, because this here up here will be different for each leg. Then you can go ahead and cut these out. Now get yourself a two liter bottle and place it about like this. This is the bottom where, you, where your foot is. Place it about like that with the um, spout on the bottom. And then tape the cardboard onto it like that. Now you can now you can work this cardboard slowly. Take your time with it and work it so you get a nice curve on it. The curve is going to make all the difference in the world. And towards the bottom here you want the curve to be smaller because that's where your ankle is. I've got this taped up nicely. It's got a pretty good shape to it. Now we're at the bottom where the ankle where your ankle will go. Wider at the top. Continue to work on this. Get a nice shape on it. And then I'll be ready to uh, paper mache it. Mix yourself up some paper mache. That's two cups of water, two cups of flour, and a teaspoon of salt. And what the salt does is it prevents the um, the flour and the paper from getting moldy. So it's a good uh, prohibitor of mold. Um, don't let this part of, don't let this stage of the game um, scare you off. It takes five minutes. Mix up some flour and water, cut yourself up some strips of newspaper, and just start applying it to the uh, greave. And what uh, I'm not quite done yet with this, but what what you should do is at least three coats of paper mache. Put one coat this way with all the strips going this way. Then put a coat with all the strips going this way, and then a third coat with all the strips again going that way. So alternate the direction of the strips that will give you more strength. And all you have to do is something like this. Dip the strip in the mache, clean off the excess, and then apply it to the surface. So, simple as that. Try not to get too much on the bottle, or else you'll have a hard time getting it out. So you go ahead and do this with both of them. And the nice thing about this is, as you are applying the paper mache newspaper to the to the greave, um, it's going to soften up the cardboard. So you can actually, as you're working, start manipulating that cardboard so it's got a nice shape to it. So the greave is going to look the way you want it to. A little bit of a curve on it. Although the top is not so much curved as the bottom. Around the ankles and around the calf and all of that. So you can continue to shape it as you're working it. So do three coats and then let it dry. Once you've got your three layers done, uh, you can uh, keep continue to shape it and then wipe it down with a sponge to get a nice smooth look on it. You want it to be nice and smooth so it looks like metal. 
even use a little bit of water if need be and now this is this cardboard may sag a little bit more over time as it's drying so what you want to do is check in on it make sure you check it in a half an hour and then an hour and a, you know every couple of hours or so to continue to form it into a nice shape as it's um, as it's drying once that paper mache is dry usually overnight it takes overnight uh, remove the bottle take that right out and then use a pair of scissors or some kind of a cutting tool to uh, trim all the edges and trim off any excess get the shape nice and uh, even trim it down to the size of your leg if you need, need be one, one important part is this down here you want this to look good where it's around your ankle okay next we apply the ornamental face plate to the greave and this is in two parts and I have the template on my website so you can download this um, put it on cardboard or poster board uh, cereal box cardboard take this part and put it right on to glue it right on top of that and then you're going to take this whole thing and glue it right onto the front of the greave okay I've got the front ornament glued down onto this onto the greave and now it's going to now it's time to do the edging all the way around the whole greave with wire and uh, use some nice soft wire I'm using a telephone wire here which is really nice and just go all the way around the edge with it and it's difficult to glue uh, you can do it, I've glued it, you glue it down and then you put a little bit of tape on it to hold it in place while the glue dries um, uh, instant glue, uh, super glue works too but it can be very difficult to work with get it uh, stuck on your hands because the work is so detailed um, if you can use a hot glue gun that works the best okay next puncture some holes, couple of holes in each side of it and then string into some shoelaces or something or leather or something to uh, use as ties so you can tie it on your leg to keep it tight so mine are a little short I would go longer with these no no reason to go that short okay this uh, this greave is complete I just wanted to show you one more quick technique um, once the gold I painted that all with gold spray paint but once that is all dry to get a really good metallic look out of it what you want to do is use some kind of a water based black paint and do a lot of the edges with it and then while it's still wet you wipe it so it kind of dissipates the black and it gives it a really good metallic look and I continue to do that, see I've done that here and this is the way to get it look real, looking really nice gives you that bronze kind of look so that's it, so this is actually a pretty complicated project um, it's going to probably take you maybe four hours or more to do these greaves if you um, if you want to start on an easier project you might want to think about the uh, armbands, the van braces that I've done, that's an easier project it's a little less complicated, so so far I've got the the van braces, the greaves, the helmet and the spear, so um, I will be doing all of the Spartan 300 gear I will be doing the um, the sword, the shield and a chest plate and next up is the, um, I'm pretty sure is going to be the shield and a lot of people have been looking forward to that project so stay tuned to my, stay tuned for the uh, shield project uh, thanks for watching, lots more projects on my website www.stormthecastle.com